Hello everybody, this is Scott Hartley from TheElectrician.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a problem that may be occurring on your Windows 10 computer and it involves your internet dropping out. If you have a network adapter or a wireless device on your computer, what's probably happening is your device, you'll be playing, you'll be watching a video on YouTube or something on Twitch and then it'll cut out. The random cutouts are not immediate, they may not immediately be tied to your uh, network adapter. What's likely happening is it's turning off. The device is temporarily powering off or losing power, and you may be saying, well, I've never enabled that feature. Well, that's because Microsoft and in their infinite glory did it for you. Now, the solution is fairly simple, but it's also very annoying. This was an idea implemented to reduce the uh, consumption of battery life on, uh, on laptops. So if you have a laptop that's on and maybe in your laptop bag, it's supposed to turn it off so that way it could save power. However, for some reason, it's not able to detect whether you're on a laptop or not. So if you're on a desktop like this, where you'll always need the internet connection because you're not going anywhere, you run into some problems. Now the solution's very easy. You could do this in a number of ways, but the easiest is just to start on your fresh desktop. From there, click on the Windows icon, right click, and then go to Device Manager. When this opens up, you'll want to look for the tab that says Network Adapters. When you're in there, you want to find the two that you'll probably have. Yours will probably look very different from mine. But in my case, I have two different network uh, ports that can be on there. My Realtek PCI GBE Family Controller number 2 and the Intel R Ethernet Connection 2 ITV VA2. What you'll want to do is you'll want to right click and then click Properties. Go to Power Management and then make sure to uncheck this box. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You never want it to turn off the device. After that, click OK. Go to any of the devices that you may have and then click Property and then turn it off. This should solve your internet connection problems on the anniversary update. You could check these other ones, but if you have any extras, they likely are not going to be affected. If The only ones that seem to be affected are the ones that are for your network adapter. If you're using woods for virtual internet like uh, Hyper-V, you do not need to, in it, to change anything with them because it inherits them from the network adapter on your desktop. And after that, your internet connection problem should be solved. There are some other problems that are going around with it, but this is probably the most common issue I've been seeing with the Windows 10 update. If you have not received the update, you'll just have to wait because it's going to roll out. It's It's been rolling out for couple weeks now and it's going to continue to roll out to your computer but as soon as you get a large update notice on your computer make sure you go into your device manager as I just walked you through and make sure you turn that setting off thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments concerns if you have a problem with your internet that was not solved with this please drop it below and I will make sure to help you to the best of my ability if you have any other questions you can refer to the official Microsoft website and they'll also be able to assist you thank you very much for watching and goodbye